Hello everybody, how you doing today? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a great day. Did you have a nice Thanksgiving? And you know, was it not eventful? <laughs> because basically, let's face it, I think they're all not eventful right now. Oh gosh, you just gotta hang in there, I guess. And you know, I'm here to give you some information on the real estate, that's why it's called the Real Estate Report. So, you know, if nothing else, maybe I can just bring you some joy if you're looking for a home in Venice, Nokomis, or Inglewood, Florida, or even right up to Sarasota. And if you're looking to sell a home between myself and Alicia, we're your go-to girls and we are happy to get your home listed and sold in the shortest period of time and get you moving in the right direction. So anyway, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're staying safe. As for me, I'm just getting over a horrible cold. So I've got my, no, I don't have my cup full of coffee, but this is still just as delicious as my lemon water. So I hope you're doing all right. And uh, so excuse me if my voice gets a little scratchy. Now, as far as the real estate world here in Venice, wow, it's on fire. And I don't say that lightly. You're going to see how many pending banners there are, the red and white pending banners. There are so many. So if you've contemplated, if you've considered, or you're right on the fence about selling the home that you currently live in, I highly suggest you get it listed and get it sold because things are moving and a shaking. And for me, I guess that's why I really like real estate because it's always evolving. It's always changing. And for me as a person, I'm very mobile. I like to move around. I like to stay busy and you know, I just love real estate and I've loved, I've loved homes and houses since I was a very young girl. And um, no matter what the home looks like, even if it's in the poorest conditions, I can see potential. And my real estate report here for you on my channel is just to give you some updated information. So if you've been trying to find the perfect home in Venice, if you've thought about moving here, you know, even with everything that's going on between myself and Alicia, we're very happy to help you. Just know that and keep that in the back of your mind. Subscribe to my channel. Um, it's all about algorithms, of course. So the more you subscribe, the more you like, the more you hit the bell, the more it helps me. And, you know, I'm just a gal um, making a living, trying to anyway. And I just like, you know, I like to share the information with you. So if there's anything that I or my uh, good associate friend Alicia can do for you, let us know and we're happy to do so. So I hope you're having a great day regardless. And I hope you don't have a cold because the colds linger forever. They're horrible. So anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about real estate. Okay. There's a whole lot of moving in and shaking going on. So I'm going to go and I'm going to be in Venice and I'm going to toggle back and forth as I always do because Zillow isn't always accurate. So I like to go back to realtor.com. But between the two sites, I will give you a pretty good indication of what's happening. Now, if you're looking for a pool home, there aren't a whole lot of those out there, but there is probably between seven and eight pool homes right now. And there are a handful of those priced below $225,000 in Inglewood and Venice, okay? Now, I'm just gonna go between, I'm gonna go under 250,000 is gonna be my max price right now, and I'm gonna start at 140. So I don't know if there's any that low, but we're gonna see. And I'm in Venice, and that's where I'm headed, okay? So right now in Venice, it states here on realtor.com that between the price of 140 and $250,000, there's 102 homes currently available on Realtor.com. But remember, some of these are going to be pending. So when I scroll down, here's where the pending banners begin. But there's still several homes that are available below $250,000 and $225,000 in Venice. The one that I did see and that I talked about on my previous video, however, that was priced below $150,000, that one's gone. I didn't, it's been removed from the market, so I'm assuming the owner sold it. And that was a really great deal. It was on three lots, and it was priced below $150,000, right near the Intracoastal and right not far from Shamrock Park. So I'm pretty sure that one's gone. The one on Ginger's gone. That's pending. That was a really cute house, too. But look at all of these pendings. It is crazy good. So really, there's maybe two, four, six. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe 25 homes that are currently available out of those 102. 25 priced below 250. So let's move over to Inglewood and see what Inglewood gives me. Okay, and Inglewood in that price point. 
And these are two bedroom, two bath homes for the most part. There might be a few threes in there. There are 66 homes. However, if you scroll down, the pending start immediately. So again, there's maybe, wow, look at all of the pendings. Look at all of them. But keep in mind, you can still get new construction also. Here's new construction on more than a quarter of an acre lot. That's in the 34224 zip code for less than 245. So you can get new construction as well. But these pendings, wow, there are so many. There's so many. So the market's hot. It's a hot market, and that's a good thing. Hot is a good thing right now, especially when we're almost into December. Okay, so let me see how many of these are pool homes. That brings us down to seven results in Inglewood that are priced between or less than 250000 and seven of those are pool homes. So you do have a nice little selection of pool homes there as well. Wow. Crazy good. Okay, so we're going to stay in Inglewood and we're going to go from 260 and we're going to go to 300,000. Let's see what we've got. Okay, there's only 11 and really there's only one. One. Let's take the pool home out. And you have 25, but that's really not true either because these are it's, wow. So really there's only four. Four homes currently available in Inglewood that's priced below three hundred between two twenty five and three hundred thousand dollars. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's go into Nokomis. What do we have in Nokomis? Between two hundred fifty and three hundred thousand, we have eleven homes. I take that back. We have three, four. Four homes right now and one of those is new construction so you basically have three pre-owned homes and one new construction price between 250 and three hundred thousand dollars okay and then if we go to Sarasota in Sarasota in that price bracket it says realtor.com states we have 127 homes but as we scroll down there's where the pendings begin but it does seem is though you may have a higher selection, a larger selection. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe twenty-five to thirty homes priced between two fifty and three hundred thousand in Sarasota. Wow. Okay, let's crank it up. We're gonna go from three hundred thousand. And we're going to go to 500000 in Sarasota. Right now, it states there's 636 homes. How many of those have pools? 150. We're going to take the pool back out. Now we're going to go to 636 homes in Sarasota, priced between 350 and 500. Nice selection. Not as many pennings, but still you've got some pennings in there, but... A lot more homes to choose from in that price bracket in Sarasota. Now let's hit Venice. And the price bracket again is between three and five hundred thousand in Venice. And let's see. There are more than three hundred homes available, and a lot of these are new construction. Wow, there's a lot of new construction. Let's go into three bedrooms and see what's happening here. So that brings it down to 278. And there's again, a lot of pendings and a lot of new construction. Now let's just for giggles sake, let's go above a million and see what we've got. Let's go to a million to five. So, between one and five million in Venice, three bedroom homes, you have 15 to choose from. And 10 of those have pools. So you have 15 homes in Venice priced between one and five million that are three bedrooms. And now if you want a larger home and you want it to be a four bedroom home, 
there are nine. Nine homes that are four plus bedroom houses in Venice between one million and five million. Okay, now let's just go down to Inglewood and see what they've got. It's always interesting to see in the higher price brackets. In Inglewood, four bedroom plus homes, or four plus bedroom, I should say, you have 15 homes between one and five million. Very, very nice. Let's see which one of these strikes are fancy. Let's see, which one should we choose? Hmm. Let's try this one behind these beautiful gates. This is on Bayshore Drive. I love this neighborhood. It is beautiful. And before I forget, I need to explain to you how to get to Inglewood if you've never been there before. And you got to take the scenic route, which if you're coming from Venice, you want to go down to Minnesota Beach and you want to take Minnesota Beach Road or AKA Canopy Road. That's the road to travel and take your time and tra stay true to the speed, which is 30 miles per hour because there's a lot of bicyclists, motorcyclists, and take your time because there's no need to rush it. Oh, it's one of my favorite drives. And when we arrived, when we found this, we found the road by mistake, really, because we were headed to the beach and we said, oh, where does this take us? Well, it takes you down beautiful home avenue is what it is. There are homes on both sides of the street. You've got the Intracoastal on one side, the Gulf of Mexico on the other. It's lined with beautiful trees, beautiful nature, and beautiful homes. And just take your time and enjoy the ride. It is just, there's many homes down in this neck of the woods that are for sale. And you will find homes priced below a million all the way up to five, $10 million. And this road will get you from Minnesota Beach all the way down to Inglewood Beach. You're going to see Middle Beach. You're going to see, um, oh gosh, what's the other one there? Oh, there's another one in there. I'm sorry, it's escaping me at this very moment. But there's some parking there. And then it will take you all the way down to Inglewood Beach. Inglewood Beach now, you do have to pay for parking. And when you get down to the Inglewood Beach area, be sure to check out the Tiki Bar. Um, it's right across the street. Everything's within walking distance. And then you have the White Elephant behind there. You've got Calico Jacks. I'm not sure if they're open right now in the evenings. And then, of course, you've got Lock and Key. And you've got the Golf Slide Grill. And then as you wind over past the Circle and you go, you head a little further south um, down around Beach Road, you're going to see the Beach Bistro. And then you're going to arrive right back over to 776. And then if you head south, you're going to see Landy's Restaurant, which is one of our favorites. But then if you keep heading down 776, you're going to hit Placida Road. And that will take you to beautiful Boca Grande. And you may want to have some cash on hand because I think it's 6 bucks to get over that bridge. And you'll arrive a very nice drive into the Boca Grande area, which, oh, be still my heart. I just love Boca Grande. The marine life there is amazing. Beautiful beaches. You have the Loose Caboose Restaurant, the Pink Elephant, wonderful cuisine. So if you've never checked out Boca Grande, that's another area that I highly recommend. If you're just visiting Venice, you must, must travel down to Boca Grande. However, if you're looking to purchase there, I don't blame you. It is absolutely beautiful. And so let us know and email me, SusanSwansonVenice at gmail.com because Boca Grande is one of our favorite places and we are more than happy to get you moving in that direction as well. So if you're traveling from Venice and you want to get down to Inglewood, be sure and take Minnesota Beach Road. Okay, so back to the house. This is listed for 2.59. This is a five bedroom, five and a half bath. And you're coming through the beautiful gates. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Two-story beauty. Very, very nice. Now, you don't see two-story beauties like this every day in our area. Uh, this home has, let's see, how many? It was built in 1993. And I'm just trying to see how many square foot. It has 8,383 83 square feet, and it's almost on an acre and a half. So this is 2.59, and it is grand. Look at this. Lovely, lovely home. Now, you don't see an acre and a half in Inglewood too often either. So if you're looking for land in a grandioso home, perhaps this one for 2.59 is for you. So now we are going to go back. And let's see. Here's another one. This is on Minnesota Beach Road. This is the road I was just referring to. And as you see here, you've got the Intracoastal on one side and the Gulf of Mexico on the other. 
This is a lovely home. I know where this home is. This is beautiful. They've got a slide and the pool. Beautiful grand home. This one has 5,450 square feet, so a little bit smaller, but the same amount of bedrooms, five bedroom, five bath. And this is lovely for two point. Oh, sorry, it's pending. Sorry, folks, that one's pending. Gone. Okay, that one's pending too. Let's find one that's actually for sale, shall we? Here's another one that's over off of Bay Shore. This is a beautiful home. This one has, ooh, this was on 5.39 acres, and it's priced below $2 million. It's at $1.975. This is a four-bedroom, three-bath with 2,791 square feet. Very, very, look at this. Look at the land. Oh, my goodness, that's unheard of. Look at this. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful private gates, private drive, tile roof. Very, very pretty. Has a lot of potential. It's a little dated, but you've got to remember you're getting a lot of acreage below 2 million right on the Gulf of Mexico. Holy smokes. Very, very nice. And then here's another one. This one's a little different style. This is in Inglewood as well. Uh, this is 1.374. Very nice, very beachy. This one's on the Intracoastal. Very, very nice. This looks like a new build. Yeah, well, it was built in 92, so it's not terribly dated, but not brand new. Very, very nice. And that's below 1.4 million. So there you have it there if you wanted a beach home. And now let's go back to, let me go to Casey Key Beach. Yeah, I want to go to Casey Key. And I want to check and see what's out. Now this is back up in Nokomis because I wanted to see what was between the 1 and 5 million mark there. And you have 11 homes. Um, I've been curious to see what this one looks like. I've seen this home as I'm driving down to the beach. This one's 3.7. This was built in 89. It's right on the intercoastal here, right on the waterway. Yeah, I know this home. This is very, very nice. It's a dark, it's a really cool green exterior. And this is on Casey Key Road. It's a seven bedroom, five bath for 3.7 million. Very, very nice. It's very nice. It has more than 4,900 square feet of space. Two-story, open riser staircase. So if you're looking for Casey Key Beach, here's one for you that's priced below $4 million. And there's 10, oh, well, no, there's not really 10 more because there's pending. Now, if you're looking for a really large home, this one is on Casey Key Road as well. It's a six-bedroom, six-and-a-half bath, and it's almost on 0.71 acres. Very nice. Beautiful Mediterranean gem. Look at this. Beautiful. It's vacant. So if you're looking to spend below $6 million, this one's actually 5.49. Beautiful, beautiful home. Great architecture detail. This is on Casey Key Road. And this has got 8,200 square feet of space on 0.71 acres. So there you have it. If you're looking for a high dollar home and you'd like to be on Casey Key Beach, perhaps this is the one for you. So you have quite a nice selection still of homes all the way up to $5 million and above. And so if you're looking, we're your go-to girls. And here's your real estate report for today. Happy Monday to you. Hang in there, everybody. Stay safe. And remember, if you're selling a home on your own, if you are for sale by owner, never show the home alone. Always have a healthy, strong family member or friend with you at all times. Safety first. I'm done for today. My voice is getting scratchier by the moment. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. Stay aware. Subscribe to my channel and let me know how we can help you and get you moving in the right direction in the shortest period of time. Susan Swanson Venice at gmail.com. Have a great day, everybody. Stay tuned for more.